I'm here just with ice bags. This me and ice bags. We're live bags. Let's go. Live on video. Let's fucking go. Bitcoin, all time high. Ladies and gentlemen, let's motherfucking go. Woo! Oh my lord. Here we go. 69.3 bags. We're live, everybody. Come on video. The stream is played. We're going to start and everything. We're going to kick in a second. There we go. There we go. That's perfect, Sam. That's perfect. All right, let me join from, from Rug Radio. Dude. Dude, let's go. It's running. It's running. It's motherfucking run. We should put the, like, the one second chart. <laughs> we should. We, here, let's put the one second chart on. You know what? Let's let, watch let, it erupt right now. <laughs> Let's uh, let's run the one second chart on Bitcoin. I mean, look, <laughs> we're right like, dude, sixty nine five bags. Oh go. my god, boys! We're going straight to seventy two. One dude. candle. Uh, we we may uh, actually uh, make it. Uh, uh, <laughs> it's gonna be like the liquidation videos, right? <laughs> <laughs> let's post the stream. I think Sims Sims about to post the stream. Let's retweet that shit. I can this send is, it, you pussies. Come on. Send it to 72, motherfuckers. Hold on. I may have to be like three second chart, minute chart. The second. Uh, fuck it. Let's leave the second chart. Second's <laughs> way better. <laughs> this is so good. This is so. You know what's even crazier? The roll bit line. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on. Let's, let's put that on. Let's put, let's put the roll bit line on Bitcoin right now. There you go. The, the tick. There you go. <laughs> I need to be logged into Twitter space on, on that yeah. now. Yeah, here, let me add you. Just right. mute. Yeah, just, put your phone, just put your phone on low volume. Yeah. Um. All right. Let's post. Uh, Sims posted the broadcast. You can retweet that too. Um. Yeah. <laughs> seven, seven, oh, almost 70K. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Come on. Are we allowed to play Pump It Up or no? Like, is that going to – that's going to – Hell yeah. No. 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 Wait, hold on. Pump what it up, baby. What does Bags think? Because Bags is OG. Bags is <laughs> – yeah, do you think we pump it up? Hold on. Oh, I think my your Apple your uh, Twitter space is echoing. I've muted him. It's good. I'm muted. Okay, okay, good. Uh, but then we have to. Oh, there it is. Okay, it's muted. Boom. Where is where is these? Where is these? <laughs> He's on his cameras for us. I just want to make sure that it's working before bringing him up. That's all. Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. Let me join the sorry everybody. We're about to get going. I'm just <laughs> so high right 70, now. 70,000. Come send on. It. 70k baby, send it. Send it. Send it. We're live everyone. We're live. We're live. We're on video. I think it's uh, let me pin that uh bags if you want to retweet it to let the people know that we are out here um No, not send it to 4k Sims. What title is that? It's Bitcoin. What do we send it east of 4K? Be up there. Yeah, but we, we, we care about Bitcoin, right? This is Bitcoin YouTube. all time high. Let's change it. Let's repost this. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let's go. Let me get <laughs> 70K Bitcoin bags. Who the fuck is selling 70,000 here? This is a buy opportunity. Man, right. if you're selling BT. Yo, these. I don't know what was going on there. GM, GM, GM. We're going to get the show properly started in a second. But telling this, your mom's a hoe. You're an <laughs> idiot if you're selling Bitcoin at this price. Oh, man. You're not going to make it. You need another job. You need to work at Papa John's. Dude, What's are they dumping it? Anymore? No, like not like this, dude. Not they're, like they're this. Doing it right not like face. this. Like not this. like this. <laughs> Oh my Dude, god. He just came back and just started selling as soon as we fucking started the space. Oh my god. No! The other, well, we hit all time high. We hit, we fucking broke 70K. You know what? I think we need to properly start the show now. So, Sims, why don't we roll it back in the studio and start the show the way we usually start it? <laughs> <laughs>
What up? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. GMG. Friday. Woo! March 8th, 2024. Look at that. Another beautiful day to have a beautiful day. Today is a historical day. Shabbat shalom, motherfuckers. Bitcoin hits 70,000 United States dollars. We call those freedom units around here. <laughs> All time high, ladies and gentlemen. I am joined today by the ones and only two legends of CT, Ice Bags, and D's. Whew, sorry. Boys, how are we feeling this morning? <laughs> I feel like we just got nuked. We just got uh, a nice <laughs> price, and then we got fucking faded right on right on the stream. <laughs> right on the stream. Listen, we had to start the stream early. We were with Bags in the studio. Bags like, yo, you got to run it. You got to run it. You know, we're hitting 69K right now. You got to run it. So we did. I mean, Bags, how are you feeling this morning? Good morning. Brother, I dressed up because I knew it was coming. I knew it was oh, coming. Oh, yeah. Damn, yo, you got you to gotta act rich in a bull market, boys. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. I like that. I like that. Okay, I'm going to go put some bling on. No, just I need a big chain. Like, maybe that'll be one of the stupid, like, top of the market. You got the punks pendant. What else are you buying? Uh, yeah, I mean, the Donald <laughs> Trump. The Donald <laughs> Trump chain. Let's see that. Let's see that up close. Sheesh. Hold on. Let me put you on the Jumbotron. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh that's, yeah, there that, you that's go. better than any punk's pendant. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> that, ooh, that, that that's looks like it weighs about good. six pounds. Oh my god, it's man! It's not how, light. how much does it weigh? Probably a pound. <laughs> <laughs> oh Those my neck god! Those aren't building themselves. That boy. was that was the top of last bull market. Yeah. Holy dude! Oh that, shit! I don't want to see what the top of this bull market. Is. I already know. What's the one stupid thing you guys are buying at the top of this bull market? You know, I don't really I do have anything that, that's on the list. Really? What are you doing? What are you buying? Uh, bags. Me? At the top of this bull market. You know, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Is I said, I'm not going to buy any shit this bull market. Like, I'm not buying any cars. I'm not buying any watches. I'm not buying anything. I just bought a, uh, a Bayfront lot that I'd been looking at for three years. Hmm. You know, but that's for, like, my family's home. So, I feel good about that. It's bad. Um, but I'm not buying. I'm not buying a single fucking thing. I until like the that. bull market's over. Not not for me personally. That's the alpha. Love that. We don't need it. No. What's the point? Dude. Give me more pandas. Give me more puppets. Give me more penguins. Give me more punks. Give me anything that starts with a fucking P before you give me a physical <laughs> thing. <laughs> anything that starts with P. We like that. We like that. Any not anything. <laughs> I spent two years stacking. I have no intention of selling for a while. Like. Dude. I, I feel that. I'm not selling shit. I'm not fucking selling. I'm not fucking selling. Never selling. I, dude, I feel the exact same way. I was telling bags in the studio uh, before we started the show. These, I was like, I got my bags. Like, I, I'm not even buying the next. I haven't been buying the next shitter. Like the next hot shit coin. The next. I'm not even like. I'm done. I'm done. I, I knew you were reformed when you abstained from buying the the flavor of the month <laughs> meme coin in the group chat. And you're like, I'm out. I'm like, wow, he's he's growing as a Listen. person. Listen, you, say, you sound like a silly goose right now for rope not buying in. I do, but you know what? You know, this is the coin this is referring to. Listen, my boots may not be on, but I'll put them on for my friends. Like I told this yesterday, we had dog with hat on stage, and then, and I was telling Ovi my, my, my paper hand story, still cooked. But I'm going to be cheering on dog with coin until $10, $40. I don't give a shit, even if I have zero. So – if my if the homies are on something, we support it, you know? Got to respect so, the pump. For rope, can you pull up a tweet and pin it? Yes, sir. Yeah, go to John Jones' page. John. Oh, his panda's J -O -N. looking good. Jones. What do you do? 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 What's his page? Uh, let me see. What's his page? John. Just it's a big. It's a big UFC. I'll link week. it. I'll, I'll link it for you. I okay. think I know what tweet he's talking it. about. The panda. Campa, uh, dude. We have so just so y'all know everybody today. So I think I think Mando's joining us. I know Ovi couldn't make it. Uh, my, listen, my co-hosts have, have become too rich, so I had to replace them by two other. Uh, <laughs> I mean, you have bags, dude. Bags, you're you're looking you're looking fabulous today. Like, yeah, Thank I, you, I like the watch. I feel fabulous. Let me see the watch. Oh, it's nice. Oh, that yo, nice. Well, is that a rainbow action? Yeah, that's that, the that two links. Style, in, the, uh, uh -huh. in the stream yeah. chat, by the way. 
what is okay let me see that's so that to, that's, to that's see the new time. the new panda the johnny bones panda let me let me let me share this we're gonna pin it oh i saw that let's check yeah, this john jones panda whip hat boys and he sent it to fucking all-time high no, no, no the, other one, the other one which one? Oh, the first Here, one let me, first yeah 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 one. yeah panda whip hat the very first one top 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 oh let's go <laughs> We'll just pin that. We'll pin that to the Twitter spaces. That's great. Whiff, whiff at all time highs this morning, dude. Man, yeah, Farouk, you had the right idea with Whiff. Just yeah, uh, just the wrong. The P, just the bear market PTSD, right? The uh, bear market PTSD is real. It's hard to find the conviction sometimes when um, you're you're used to shit just going down eighty percent, and then when you yeah. buy something and it doubles, you're like, wow, I should make I some mean, money. I mean, <laughs> and then it goes up ten x, and you're like, fuck. I could have made a lot more. Had nothing else to do. Hanging out at my girlfriend's country house with her family and stuff. Saw Ovi dump two Fidenzas for for fucking whiff by a million tokens. Right, that's the next thing. Right, that's what I did. <laughs> uh, we we wrote that a bit, but we didn't hold it. You know, but it's okay. We 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 wrote it into the right coins. But anyways, you know, we 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 marked a little bit. You know, we 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 put a lot of Solana into this, so we're, our tokens are doing good. Anyways. So here's where we at today. So Bitcoin, well, shit, Bitcoin's down to 67.8. Oh my God, timeline in shambles. No, 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 for rogue icebergs. We it. Oh, we got, well, we didn't play pump it up. So to our, to our, to our, to our defense, uh, we did not uh, do that today. Uh, and then of course, still on everything running. Look, um, quickly before I get going and chatting with with bags and D's, I'm sure we have a lot of things to talk about. I want to talk pandas. These, I want to talk about what you're up to. I want to talk about market. I want to talk about where you guys think we're going because we know we hear from Mando and Ovi every day, but I want to hear from you guys. You know how how this cycle is going to play out. In your opinion, you've both played uh, played a lot of cycles before. These want to hear where you see fucking NFTs, ordinals, the state of ETH NFTs. Same for you, bags. Obviously, we're going to get into that. And then, last but not least, we're going to do the robot spins today. We have two five thousand dollar spins. Um, and I put a fuck ton of pandas in there. So I went this morning, I deleted the whole loot box and I redid it, put 20 pandas, wreck guys, rugs, uh, punks, squiggles in honor of these, in honor of these, of course. So I'm changing the rules this morning though. I'm changing the rules because I get to make them. So that's a vibe. You don't only have to follow FOMO hour and Robit. You're going to have to follow these and ice bags as well. If you want to enter to win. Uh, two of the spins that was going to narrow it down to people really uh, want to really fuck with us and really follow us. So follow FOMO Hour, Robit come on Twitter, Icebags underscore it's there. He's on the spaces. You can find him right there if you're on video. Just go to X and get him. And D's, I mean, D's is pretty simple. It's his new username, but D E Z Z, D E E Z E. And at the end of the show, with 50 minutes left, we're going to run it and spin it and hope that somebody wins uh, something, you know, heavy. Um, hey, Dees, can you can you laugh real quick? <laughs> I have to over exaggerate to get my mouth open. Like my mouth is like 90 percent open. Like you can tell when I'm talking, it doesn't fully open. You have to really open your mouth to get this fucking thing. I just saw no sound coming out. And your mouth was like that. It was That's cracking so me up. Funny. I love that. That's my face watching the chart. <laughs> oh, my God. I, I This is hilarious. Anyways. All right, boys. Well, why don't we get this party started? I mean, look, usually we go through a market report with the boys, but Mando is not here with me today. We would do this, but I think the market is the market, right? Like, I think it's uh, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, we had $70,000 at the beginning of the show. Bags, uh, what do you, what do you, uh, how do you feel here? I mean, you've, you've obviously lived through multiple, how many cycles you at now? Like 45. We talking about <laughs> back to... <laughs> Back to the great stock market crash. <laughs> Back to this great stock market crash. How do you how do you feel about about the market here? Like we haven't chatted in a minute. Obviously, like this whole run up, you said you stacked for two years. You're sitting on your hands. What's what's Bags doing here? Yeah, I mean, I've 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 been very vocal. All I've done is stack for two years. Um, Pandas, RST, Rainy Studios token, several others, Beam, um, and I'm sitting here, man. I have no interest in selling. I'm not euphoric. We're sitting here at all time highs on BTC. Mm -hmm. Everything else is yet to catch up. Uh, BTC dominance is astronomical right now. We've not seen alt season. We've seen a crazy meme coin season, which, you know, usually marks like a, a you know, a market top, but this, this market's just different, right? Like, like every market's not the same. It rhymes, but doesn't repeat. Um, I think I think a lot of the meme coin money flows back into like majors and 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 real projects uh, later in the cycle. I'm in no rush to sell anything. I don't think we've seen shit out of NFTs yet. We've seen a good pullback. I said this the other day. I was like, we've seen a fucking 
40% drop in ETH NFTs. Um, I think that was a buying opportunity. I still think it is. I think over the next few months, people are going to be like, fuck, I wish I would have bought, you know, penguins at fucking 13 ETH and pandas at two and a half ETH and, and D gods and Azuki and Miladies and everything else. Like, I think everything sends. Um, and I think it's going to be an, an elongated market, right? Like a lot of guys, like I've talked to Maine, Maine thinks it's going to be a short market. Um, I think it's going to be an elongated market. There's a lot of guys that think it's going to be a very short market this year. I don't. I think um, the institutional money continues to flow. Uh, and then people think like, like that money's not going to flow to alts because it's sitting in ETFs. Like who gives a fuck? All those guys <laughs> that were selling the Bitcoin to the ETFs are going to flip their money into altcoins. The same shit's going to happen again, guys. I mean, the end of last cycle, everybody was like, oh, alt seasons are done. It's never coming back. And I'm like, you guys don't fucking understand. This is the greatest casino on the planet with the biggest the group of degenerates. It's always going to come back. There's going to be ebbs and flows, but it's always going to come back. I'm, I'm super, super bullish long term. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. You're hearing it. You're hearing it from an OG here. And I, and I love that. And I want to get into Rainy Studio and a bunch of the stuff that you're doing and then the ETH NFT talk because that's gonna that's something of you see that's been like, you know, uh, doing less uh, good, but it's it's normal <laughs> right now. It's just it's just how the markets work. Dees, yeah. how you feeling? How you feeling about the market here, brother? Where 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 what is what is these what did these buy in the in the in the bear market? What did I buy in the bear market, dude? I did this dumbass post about having a plan and like not putting more than 5% of my liquid crypto portfolio into meme coins and all this shit. And I'm just holding a whole bunch of dumb, safe bullshit like Bitcoin, ETH, and Solana. And I'm just watching my friends make millions of dollars off complete vapor while I'm trusting this bullshit plan of like just trying to hit a, a 4 or 5x. And it's been really painful to not just ape into absolute garbage with size because I think I can double it in six hours. Um, but we're sticking to the plan. We're, we're trying, we're, we're trying to, uh, you know, normally I will fight the plan and give in at some point. And that's normally the, the exact time that I should have trusted the plan. Like I, I might buy mo more mog at like a billion cause I think it's going to go to 2 billion and then it dumps 50% on my head and then I sell it. Uh, I, I definitely agree with bags. It feels really, um, weird to, to think that a Bitcoin ETF is going to make the cycle shorter. Um, I, I don't, you know, I haven't been around as long, but I also just don't feel like that fundamentally makes sense. Um, especially given the inflows that we're seeing, like it, it's just every day, a staggering amount of money going into this shit. I, I don't really feel like it's going to be shorter. I like that. Look, talking to markets, we got the macro He's daddy. alive? <laughs> Here he is. Found the passport, baby. We're back. We're back. <laughs> <laughs> found the passport baby we're back yeah we're definitely back mando good morning happy uh happy all-time high <laughs> oh, what a show. it's a completely different vibe um, oh, yeah. Uh, oh yeah yes um hey, how you feeling this morning mando i'm feeling great yeah feeling great uh kind of another crazy day right like uh bitcoin hit 70k then just got rejected but everything seems to be doing all right a lot less nasty than the last time. Um, it, yes. It like that. Where you? Where do you? What do you? What do you? What do you uh, what's the? What's the roundup today? What's the roundup this morning on the minutes on the market? Like where? Where are we going here? What you? Were you think big weekend or what? I don't know. Like I, I actually thought Bitcoin was gonna kind of range for a little bit, but you just can't fight. You know, hundreds of millions of inflows every single day. It. Um, the other thing to note here is that the GBTC. Um, it, it, it's become much smaller. So it's already lost 10 billion, the grayscale wow. um, uh, trust now. So that effect is starting to diminish. Um, I think Fidelity had its biggest inflow ever. Um, wow. You have more rumors again of, I think Bukele, who's the, um, who is the <laughs> president of the Avenue, met, met, uh, Qatarian officials and it's hinting on the fact that they are going to be buying as well. Chad. Um, if you could, <laughs> there yeah, it is. There yeah. it is. Yeah, that's our goat right there. Honestly, we need this mf -er on the show. We need the president of El Salvador on the show, bro. That's my goat. That's my goat. <laughs> Look at this man. So it's getting, <laughs> it's getting, and that is a, you know, that's a proper buyer. If that comes through, that would be tens of billions. Um, if they, they obviously came through, it just feels like, I said before, like Bitcoin is going higher. Um, you can still get these big wicks lower. Um, as we go higher and higher, 
you're going to see people who've owned Bitcoin like for 10 years be like, right, look, yours fucking 100 million, 200 million. Um, and that will just cascade the, the liquidities. You already just saw it just then. I think you can see where the leverage is because like some meme coins just dropped like 15% and then rebounded. Um, so it feels like we're going to keep on seeing that. So if you're in spot, obviously you don't have to worry. If you're if you're in um, in leverage, you gotta you gotta be wary of the of the, the liquidations. But I just I just don't see a world where we're going lower. Like, where is the supply really coming from? Like the miners have been selling more than they've ever sold into this halving now, and in about what is it thirty days, their their supply is going to be cut in half. So. Yeah. <laughs> where is the supply the coming way from? we're like, going down is if the satoshi wallet moves the bitcoin yeah like, other yeah. than that oh, no, be not. careful what you wish for be careful what you wish for. or if bags decides to open his bitcoin wallet but for now he, he just he just said he's not touching his bags right he's the boat. he we wants to thousands of bitcoins on us <laughs> not um, touching shit <laughs> I agree. I agree with Mondo 100 fucking percent. I mean, he's right here. Like we're, 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 we're about to hit a supply side liquidity crisis. Mm -hmm. Where, where, where are the sellers going to come from? And, 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 and what at 69,000 last time, right? It was a 2010 wallet, 2015, 13 wallet or something that dumped like 60 million or something at the top. Right. Um, I think you're going to see some of that, right? Some of these old wallets are going to get activated. And they're going to dump a bunch of shit like it's going to happen. But other than that, if you got more inflows and outflows, and like he said, the biggest thing is really Barry, Barry's, you know, running out of pellets. And if Barry's getting overrun on one side, like there's only one way for it to go. Only one way. And only just, one way. just to give some context on macro a little bit here, everything is hitting highs. So stocks are hitting all time highs every single day. Like you said, for you should like guy in, in whatever the gym trading yesterday, he was trading yes. stocks. Because tech yeah. stock is hitting an all-time high right now. Yesterday, the Fed chair came up for Congress and said, look, we're about to start cutting rates. You just had an incredibly bullish uh, employment data figure just came out, lower, lower wage inflation, higher employment than everyone expected. You're ramping up into the election, so everyone's going to be bullish spending, all that sort of stuff. Like you normally get a pop in, pop in the market before that. So this is a proper – this isn't like, oh, you know – Jay Powell's going to turn around and nuke us by saying he's going to keep on raising rates. Like we are fucking full, full steam ahead on macro just at a time when the ETFs are buying hundreds of millions a day and the supply is going to be cut. Like you said, you were looking for a tier zero exploit in Bitcoin or we're going higher. Yep. And, okay. and as somebody that comes from, <laughs> yeah. And as somebody that comes from the real estate business, it was, it's been dead for the last year and a half and over the last 45 days, all I'm hearing is people talking about the surge is coming in real estate. As Dude, well. that's so crazy. Like every, everything's going. This is the everything bubble. Yeah. I love Rob that. Paul, yesterday we had Rob Paul. Yeah, we had, we had fucking Rob Paul on the show yesterday saying that if he puts a 20% chance on a uh, bubble cycle, and then he said that that would put Solana $500 to $1,000, and I couldn't sleep last night. Um, so, so, <laughs> Raul Pa has me like wanting to run through a fucking wall, uh, and it's been pretty wild. Um, if Bitcoin goes to 250,000, what's that from here? It's about six, it's a 70,000, so 250,000 would be about uh, just shy of a, uh, a four X, right? Yeah, Sol's 150 now, yeah, like a thousand dollars, man. Do you think Sol's gonna do a four X, or do you think it's gonna do like a 10 X if that yeah. happens? It could easily hit a thousand if Bitcoin goes to 250,000, like that's that would be, keep the ratios kind of the same. Do you know how like like I'm gonna put those hands to test here? It, it, this is it. Like I'm gonna bags just gave me even more. Like he's like I'm not touching shit for two years. Like I I was said I'm not touching until 2025. I ain't touching 2026, bro. Like <laughs> this is like this is it. What's a pa what's a panda worth at 20 ETH at 15,000 an ETH? Hey, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. You know I mean, what that's you're gonna, worth. You're going to end up just uh, replacing the <laughs> UFC fights and just give people pandas to fight at that point. Like you're, most of these <laughs> fighters right, are going to yeah. make more fighting for pandas than they are on the undercard. Dude, UFC 299 tomorrow. You know, that's that's always, now every time there's UFC event, I don't miss any events. Like I love UFC. I'm from Montreal. GSP is my GOAT. Like been watching since those days. Like 299 tomorrow can't fucking wait but the thing is every time i think of ufc now i think of camp by pandas like you've really made it in that sense like on the media stand front 
that like you associate Camp Pandas. Like I love the media play, right? Obviously, but like it's like boom, like Camp I Pandas. You say Camp I Media, and and it's it's we've been talking about this for a minute, right, Mando? We said at some point like a lot of PFP brands will will have to like pivot to either like gaming or what's the other obvious play, media. So, you know, I think uh, I think you guys cooked on that. Let's talk NFTs a little bit. Like, we have more, like, you know, we haven't been talking much NFTs. We talk coins every day. We all are bulls here. We're all saying higher. I think we can't agree that whether it goes lower first, we don't give a fuck. <laughs> it's going higher, right? I think we, we're, we're all here for that. What's up, Edo? Max, who do you think wins out of out of Nganu versus uh, Joshua tonight? That's tonight. You know, I think it's it, – oh, is that tonight? Yeah. Oh, it's, it's tonight. Yeah, it's tonight. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um – Here's, here's what I'll say. I think Joshua, I think Joshua wins. Originally, right after the fight, I would have said Ngannou, right? Because he fought Tyson so well. But here's the thing. I think Joshua comes in super prepared mm. for that fight. And I don't think Tyson took him as seriously as he probably should have. Mm. Um, so I think that'll be the difference maker there. Ngannou's got great hands, but Joshua's was, a great boxer. He was boxer. robbed last time, though. Like, Ngannou was robbed last time, right? We can, we I, all I agree. agree I think. You beat him. Um, but I think I think Joshua probably be pieces him up a little bit. But who, who knows? It's it's either Joshua pieces him up and goes the distance, or Nganu fucking flattens him in the third. Something That's something crazy. Joshua doesn't have a chin, right? Joshua doesn't have a chin, famously. Something crazy. He's gone down Dude, a few three times. To, three to one on Nganu, like a, a three to one on Nganu, bro. Like, like, Nganu hits him on. with one hit. It could be over. I mean, yeah, he's got he's got more power than anybody that Joshua's ever fought. Yeah, I have an idea, Mando. Why don't we put a thousand dollars of the of our of our of our money into a uh, into a uh, uh, Nganu win in this, and then we can do more giveaways on the show. Yeah. <laughs> what should you do like a Nganu KO? What's what's uh, that odds are going to be? Nganu KO. Nganu KO is that first, uh, first round KO. <laughs> first round. Nganu TKO KO is four point three to one. But the thing yeah, is, like, four to one, three to one on a win, like, you're better off betting the three to one, right? Nah, the only way he wins is a TKO. Yeah, exactly. He's not gonna win on the cards. Okay, let's go. Are we run it, Mendo. <laughs> That's the best bet there, easily. Yeah, like the he should have won on points versus. Uh, he's Tyson. gonna get. He's gonna get robbed on the cards. You might as well go TKO. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, it's true. You know what? Last time I had um, who was he fighting again? Um, Fury or Fury. something. Fury. I, I bet on Fury because the odds were nice, but like I was pissed at the end because I like I won money, but like. I was like, fuck this. Like, that was a robbery. Like, that was, yeah. it was so robbed. Um, it was wild. But anyways, so let's get into NFTs and what's happening in that space, right? Like, everybody, everybody loves a good little FUD. Uh, you know, on the ETH side, things are not, uh, we're pretty grim. On, like, there was a lot of pudgy penguin loans, I think, going on underwater. Um, yeah. I think even the Meta Street founder himself is bailing them out uh, or something like that, right? I, I read that right, right? He's putting like a million dollars of his money. Um, so he's bailing them out. Uh, so that's like the banks now. We're going to bail out NFT. I love the <laughs> NFT5 projects coming in. Like, by the way, I really love Meta Street. And their founder's big brain genius. I love to see that. Apes at 17? Here, spe speaking of bailouts, we got to talk about that 500 uh, ETH golden ape sale that's yesterday. What there's, that, there's Machi buying up. So he got paid from the DAO. He's buying up all the gold apes. 500 ETH by from OX Wave when the other gold apes were signed for 250, 275. That caused some conversation. Apes are 17 ETH. Uh, Pudgies are 14. Uh, pandas have been doing... Re what pandas at? Pandas over three or something, right? You're two, two, five. Two, five. Love to see that. I mean, Bags, you talk a lot about ETH NFTs and stuff. Like, how's the state of that? Like, how, where do you, where do you, what do you think as a founder that's in the space, actually, if you had the helm of one of the biggest projects on ETH right now, like, what, what's your, what's your read here on the ETH NFTs? I mean, look, I think we're just in a lull, right? Like everybody got excited about ordinals. Everybody got excited about meme coins. Like it just sucked liquidity out. Um, is that going to be a long-term thing? No, like money's going to come back. I mean, there's no question. You had, I mean, think about this. You had a, what, a $15 million punk sale. Yeah. You had rookie, rookie bought a $500,000 penguin. Wait, what? What did rookie, hold on. He bought a $500,000 totally ice penguin. Wait, what? That, yeah. that, wasn't, that wasn't an NFT though. He just, he just took it home. Last week, <laughs> <laughs> that's something I feel rookie would do. Uh, uh, right. a one of one, a one of one panda sold what? for two hundred thousand, right? What? Like, <laughs> like, like if, if big buyers are moving into the market like that, you know, the 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 the, the floors are going to follow after. Hmm. Yeah, I agree. I feel I feel like it's just a lull. Like, um, I, I mean, ordinals has definitely been the strongest move this this cycle, new cycle. New meta, 
it's easy to pump. Think, uh, you know, if everyone's in the money, it's easy to keep pumping it up as long as money keeps coming in. Whereas, you know, if a project's been around, it's just like coins, like, uh, you know, old coins, harder to pump, older NFTs, harder to pump in this cycle. So, but like puppets and that sort of shit, they could go above one, one Bitcoin, right? Like who's a bag holder in puppets right now? Nobody. Everyone, everyone is making oh, money. Oh, not a bag holder. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. There's not, not one bag holder in puppets or no monkeys right now. Not one. And that's pretty powerful as like a meta. So that, I think those can just keep going. And now they have all the airdrop stuff happening, <laughs> uh, right? Like people just, people get free money for owning NFTs again. People like that stuff. So um, that's what I woke up to this morning. I got so a text message that ask. said, yo, puppet airdrop. And uh, I guess my what? first question was, do I need to move these fucking things into their own separate wallets or can I leave them in one? Oh, I don't feel like doing that. But so here, so so let's talk about that. I mean, look, you're you're a big you're a big master puppeteer yourself. These I saw you got your honorary, and it's your new PFP, which is by the way, like fire. <laughs> That's like I saw TG got his too right after. I woke up to to pee overnight, and there was Dread Guy like spamming the chat, going crazy, saying that puppets are getting a token. Uh, and it was like I looked at the time, it was like three M for him because he's in LA, and I woke up at like five fifty thirty or something. Like, dude, what? So what? What's going on here with this? What's What's this all about? These is that official or is that like separate? Like, what is that? I mean, I don't. My my hunch is that it's not officially from uh, mm. the the artist and the the founder, but it's just a, a community token. My my question is: Is the airdrop linear or is it just like? Um, you know the Uniswap airdrop or something where it's one per wallet because if it's, it's like, one per yeah. wallet and I have twenty pups, I'm gonna feel like a fucking moron keeping them in all one wallet. People have been saying it's, it's one it's one per wallet, right? They've been saying they, everyone's been saying separate your puppets. I, I, I'm, I even heard that. Dude, so. Oh yeah, so I got you. Like twenty more wallets. This shit's Are you a, kidding a me? Though? Separate your wallets. That's like all Bitcoin too. Like that's like <laughs> this is gonna take like. This, it's gonna take me two hours. hours. Yeah, exactly. Generational <laughs> wealth takes two hours. I mean, yeah, it's worth no it. You're right, man. Though. I could get off my ass and copy and paste <laughs> some new addresses in for two hours to make a hundred thousand dollars. I guess. Uh, I guess that's fine. Fine. Then I'm gonna cancel dinner tomorrow. That's how fucking wait. spoiled we are in this space, though. It's like, ah, oh, man, fuck. Like, do it's I really want to spend dinner, a so. couple hours making a hundred thousand dollars? Maybe, like, shit. <laughs> Shit's crazy. Bags, you said you, you got some alpha for us or what? Yeah. Check out uh Twitter TKO underscore token. Is that what we're doing today, boys? Hold on. Uh Sims, where's the opinions uh roll out? <laughs> there we go. Host opinions are their own and for fictional and fun stories only, even on punks. Uh, but <laughs> oh, what is that? So I've always Bags. said that NF NFT tokens do not work and they will never work because it's an NFT project and the token just has you no use case. But sometimes you can build something in into a larger project. I'll just say that. Is this something to do with Camp I Pandas? All right, my first question. Do I need to split up my <laughs> NFTs in new wallets? <laughs> no. Let's go. Yeah, we, are starting, we are starting our own fight league. We've been working on this for eight months. Yo, yeah. let's go with Mike let's Perry. Go. Yeah, with Mike Perry, the Kawa brothers out of first round management. No, uh, John, way. John Jones is involved. Yeah, let's go. That's so, good. Next, next few months. Look for that. Are, are, are any, uh, any of CT fighting? Are you, are you just no. are you taking UFC pros versus versus CT? Is that, that yeah? Really I'd love to do that actually. <laughs> you know if, I hand, once? if I can hand select the CT guys. Do a 2v1. <laughs> do a 2v1. Two CT guys against one professional. Or like 3v1. I'd, yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd PPV pay for that. For sure. Like, that. I would, I'll pay like $100 to watch this on TV. <laughs> like, like, <laughs> well, only when ETH is 4K, I'll pay $100 bucks for that. But uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, it would definitely be... So, yo, you guys got the whole... Dude, honestly, I'm so bullish on that all things fighting combat. It's like, obviously, UFC has been like rising like crazy over the last few years in popularity. Um, karate combat. Like I know you've been, you were early on that. Shout out to them, uh, David and, and that team. Um, we're gonna be actually. I'll be covering karate combat on 420 in Dubai. Can't fucking wait. Um, yeah. I, get I to think meet it'll finally, it'll finally bring um, 
can yeah. pie to like what it what it's meant to be. You got combat sports media, mm. you got combat sports league, you've got combat sports betting. So how how are you how are you approaching media here with Campai? Like you you took the project. We all know the story of 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 Campai of Campai Pandas. We talked about it on even on this show multiple times. Like you took it over, took a rock project, took it over over the bear market. I saw you completely pivot to media, uh, yeah. announcing Campai Media. Even like like all the big fights, like you guys are there now. The big UFC events, the boxing events, you name it. The Jake Pauls, the influencer shit. Like you're everywhere. So how are you approaching? What's like how are you approaching media for like uh for for this and how is it relate to like the PFP and stuff? Yeah. So you know how big, I mean, you, you obviously know how big the media space is, right? And, and MMA for, to me has been super like under marketed to underutilized, um, for being the third largest sport in the world, right? <laughs> like you've got, um, uh, you've got Ariel Hawani, you've got Joe Rogan, you've got a couple others. And then outside of that, there's just not a lot of people. Right. And so when we launched overdogs podcast, we didn't expect to have the success that we would have that early, but I mean, we've had John Jones on Mighty Mouse on, uh, Darren Till on, um, you know, uh, Duplessis on right before he fought Sean Strickland. We just had George Burns on right before he fought, um, or Gilbert Burns on right before he's fighting, um, Madalena this weekend. Like we're getting the guys that are fighting like week, you know, the week of we had wow. Bryce Hall on, uh, yes, we're averaging like hundred, we're averaging 150,000 views a day on YouTube right now. <laughs> Uh, which is which is great. I mean, we're only like 23 episodes in. We're about to start. We're about to roll out Overdogs Espanol for the Latin American market. Let's, We've got Yoel, Yoel Romero hosting that, which is going to be no a monster. Way. Let's go, yeah. dude. Yeah, that's going to be a monster. We've got a couple other shows that we're talking about right now. Um, but yeah, so, but, and then we've, we've, we've partnered with Overdogs Bets which is going to be launching at the end of March. It's in beta testing right now. Uh, it's a very MMA specific gambling app uh, with exotic MMA prop lines that, that my guys actually made up. We hired a team from Berkshire Hathaway, deep statistical learning team um, building overdogs. So, so say this, say, say the Sean O'Malley, uh, Sean O'Malley and Cheeto are fighting this weekend. You'll be able to bet 12 statistical categories on each person prop lines and then combined on the two and then every fight on that card. Right. So like super to gen MMA stuff. Um, and then of course we're going to use the media wing to push everybody towards those lines and towards the overdogs bets, which we've already got the, the captive audience for that. Oh, uh, Mando, we're going to have to talk next advisory call. We're going to have to buy these guys out. I know. I know. I like that. I mean, <laughs> it's crazy. this is a whole sport, right? Like they are all underpaid versus what, most people hundred percent all becoming like in my eyes some of the most recognizable sports people in the world right now and they're still kind of unpaid um, underpaid by it and now like the whole yeah. ecosystem around it is being built out um it just feels like boxing's just had such a terrible time for the last 20 years but there's still that massive demand for combat sports and now ufc is going to just take off. So uh, I think you're, you're but boxing is still boxing is still huge, right? Like David Benavidez was our, was our largest show, right? Um, right before, I guess they announced the Can Canelo fight. Like he, he did more than John Jones did. Um, Devin Haney pulled good numbers. Uh, Bryce Hall pulled pretty good numbers, you know, I mean, he fought, he fought in BKFC. Um, but yeah, that kid, that kid's legit by the way. Like, yeah, he gets shit on for being a TikToker, but like he, he fucking went and he went and fought a, an experienced guy in BKFC. So props to Bryce. I saw that. That's yo. That's that's uh. That's pretty crazy. This whole like Bro, honestly, shit. man, the Jake Paul, Logan Paul, like influencer boxing effect. Like early on with KSI and his little brother as well. Like it's I've watched. I followed used to follow KSI in the FIFA foot days. So he used to play. Remember with Mando? KSI yeah. used to be that like streamer for like unpacking cards, like digital cards, like. The original so like so rare is like the next step of that, you know what I mean? But like they used to like unpack do the unpack. My little brother was obsessed with like KSI as a kid, right? Um, early YouTube days. And then like Logan and Jake like followed him since Vine, and then the, they seeing the thing into combat sports, this whole thing, like, dude, Jake Paul's gonna fight Mike Tyson. Like <laughs> this is this right. is crazy. Bags, who, who who's our money on here? Jake Paul, Tyson, like that. Is he actually gonna fight him? Uh, I thought that like had stopped. No, it's, no, it's announced real. yesterday. It's, it's official. Real. It's real. It's real. They're fighting on yeah. on Netflix. Like yeah, it's, Netflix. it's a big deal, and they're fighting in uh, Arlington Stadium in Texas. <laughs> Look, Tyson Tyson would murder that guy at any point, but I, I think Tyson's been on a fucking cane for like the last six months, literally on a cane. Whoa, well, no 57. way. Fifty-seven. Yeah. Yeah, but he's just got, he's got, he's got scoliosis and like, or sciatica or something. Like, he's got, he's got degenerative issues, man. 
dude, on Netflix, like Netflix is going full board. Even Netflix dude. is going into sports. Like when we were when we were working with Kraken in Q4, um, and I did the um, the F1 stuff uh, with them with Williams Racing and stuff. It's uh, they they had at the same time in Vegas and Vegas fight. They had the um, the live golfing a thing with the F1 drivers with professional golfers, and it was a Netflix Cup, and it was a live the first ever live stream in Netflix history. It was golf. Like even like golf is like popping, like combat yeah. sports popping, like and and Netflix picking up on it. All these big streaming services is only gonna get bigger, uh, yeah. which is wild. Uh, how does this? Right. So what does this mean for my pandas here? What is? How does this pump my bags? <laughs> well, let's just say there's gonna be a lot of utility coming for the pandas outside of all the shit that we already do. <laughs> I love that a lot of shit, dude. This is you know, and, that, and and talking about golf, like like one of the first like like we just um for 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 TKO. Um, we brought in Greg Norman Jr., right? Because mm -hmm. Greg Norman Jr. has all the connects yeah. to the Saudis, you know, yes. and, and the zone and everybody else. So, like, we brought in Greg Norman Jr. as an advisor on the project as well. Um, but yeah, golf's huge. I mean, sports are exploding right now, and sports gambling is exploding. I mean, mm -hmm. there's, there's no way around it. Like, the growth year over year is fucking astronomical. Yeah, it's uh, it's it's so big. I, I love that. Uh, looks like we got a slight little rejection here, lads, on the market <laughs> while we're talking about our NFTs. But you know, if you're not, if you're bearish, at, if you're bullish at 66 ETH yesterday, uh, K Bitcoin yesterday, and you're bearish here, I mean, I don't, we're, we can't save you. We, uh, we definitely cannot, uh, save you on this front. Look, uh, I love what's going on here. Um, just for everybody to know, make sure you retweet the Twitter spaces at the bottom right because in five minutes ish, five, 10 minutes, uh, we're going to be picking two. Lucky people to come and do five thousand dollars robot spins uh, for people to win uh, these um, uh, potentially win pandas, you know, punk, squiggle, red guys, rugs. So there's a bunch of stuff in there. So make sure that you follow FOMO Hour, follow um, follow Robit, and we added some rules this morning. Follow Ice Bags and follow these. They're all in the Twitter Spaces. Make sure you follow all four of them. That should narrow it down and retweet. You know, it is what. It, listen, listen. Robit gives us money to give to you. Of course, we're gonna grow the show and the people that come on it with it, right? That's just, just, that's just, that's just on fair game and how we do it. So make sure you retweet, make sure you share. Your boys made on the front page of Coinbase this morning, man. Though I thought that was super cool. Um, you yeah. know, yeah, it feels it's nice. wild now. Now, Dude. now we're on the crypt. Dude, I I saw the I saw a screenshot this morning and then CoinGecko picking up on yesterday's show at Rob Pile, and I was like, "Dude, we're it looks like it looks like we're uh, we're." We're we're looking good all all uh, like across the board, right? Like you're talking about ice bags, like your campaign media stuff, what you're doing, big things coming, the TKO tokens, combat league, your own combat league. <laughs> Holy shit, crazy! We've been working on it for eight months, man. I'm, I'm I'm fucking pumped. Like it's gonna be it's gonna be a dope product that nobody's done before. It's got a different rule set. Um, we're gonna do uh, bot, like dirty boxing and four ounce gloves. Um, which nobody's really done. So it's going to be heavy knockout power, but it's not going to be like the brutality of, of bare knuckle. Um, but yeah, you I don't have knuckle. much knockout power. So it's going to be fucking phenomenal. I have a friend that just fought bare knuckle in the last event, like last week. Um, yeah. And yeah, well, he fucked the guy up, which was sick to watch. But it's like bare knuckle. It's like, I, I they break their hands. They get cut up. I mean, every punch is a cut. Like I was in Mike Perry's corner when he fought uh, Eddie Alvarez and, and Mike got beat on that first round, dude. And he came back over and he's bleeding out of like, he's bleeding out of like nine spots. And I'm just like, fuck, man. Yeah. yeah you gotta be, you know. A little crazy to do that shit. I uh, it's uh it's a little it's a little too much uh for me. I was talking to David. Just I was like, "Yo, put me in the ring, bro." He was like, "Okay, you want to go fight?" I'm like, "Just kidding, just kidding." I'm not I'm not trying to I'm not trying to do um I'm not trying to do an influencer fight here. Yeah. Uh, but Mando, I think you you you've been like Mando is a stealth build, bro. Mando behind behind this behind this trader face, his poker face. You know, it, there's a sleeper build. I, I could see Mando in the ring. What do you think, yeah. Mando? You gonna fight in in Bags's league? Why not? Why not? I'll fight OSF MMA. There we go. <laughs> what a fight! <laughs> fighting OSF, I'd be scared of of fighting the Mog Dog. I'd be scared of fighting the Fresh Buy of Daka, bro. You know. I know he's been fighting for a long time now. I've never yeah. really got involved, but and he's still fighting twice a week right now. He still trains twice a week. Uh, Who's your, who, who are you fighting? Me? Yeah. Let's get you in the ring. <sighs> My wrist, dude. I'll have to fight one wrist. <laughs> My wrist. <laughs> My wrist, bro. I, I can't. Dude, what I are the doctors can't. saying? They're not. They're saying that they're saying you can't MMA, use your computer you know? for nineteen hours a day. They're saying that there's one. Of, they're saying that there's one bone on the wrist that's failing, and that I also have carpal tunnel 
And uh, so it's not looking good. Uh, I, I have a custom thing now to sleep with at night on my wrist. So it's not looking great, boys. We're 29 years old going on to 62, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I went through that phase when I uh, was playing video games for 18 hours a day and depriving myself of sleep and not stretching and not leaving my chair. And the only way it got better was by getting into crypto and not typing all day and not just spamming my mouse click every two seconds. So, uh, <laughs> but I don't know what other tips to give you. Are you the saying brace, the brace helps when you sleep with the brace? Yeah. That that helped for me too. I have it on always one of another one on deck also. Are you saying that crypto fixes this? Well, it, if you play video games where you're clicking your mouse like every half second or quarter second, going to crypto is like slowing down 90 or 99 percent. It's it's not even close. Yeah, yeah. What do we what do we uh what do we uh what are we thinking this weekend, lads? I know I'm gonna start picking a winner soon. But what are we thinking over the weekend? Like, uh, Mando, I'll go to you first. Like, we're gonna see another meme coin rotation heavy once the markets close, like last weekend. Like, things are gonna get we're silly already seeing or... shit go up. Yeah. Bitcoin, I mean, we Pepe and Whiff are up 20%. Fucking Turbo's up 17%. Bonk's up 15%. Even Turbo's up? Yeah, dude. Even fucking Turbo's up. AI meme coins, dude. What if it comes back? What if we were just early? I think um, I think that today's close is a little bit important, like depending on what, uh, yeah. you know. But I do think that weekends is when the meme coins pump right it last friday was when you started to see all the meme coins pump again they kind of sold off from monday to thursday and then uh everyone gets back to like right how can i make a 10x as quickly as possible the daily so, bulk is crazy <laughs> so i do think yeah you're gonna see um you're gonna see people come back to meme coins i don't know like this feels again like a, a good opportunity to buy like whoever keeps smashing it down they smash it down with a with an iron fist um and then you get these big liquidations i i, I doubt there'll be the leverage didn't really pick up as much as it had before so no. i doubt it'll be the same level of liquidations did, so, did the, the boots day. stay on the boots <laughs> the boots stay on yeah silly goose hitting new time new highs this uh this uh this weekend for sure i hope for you all that your boots stay on and that and that all this stuff takes up because i want my brother to win so uh <laughs> so, are, you, are you guys gonna be in dubai yes sir for a while right. too. All right, I'm gonna hit you up because we've got a we've got a private Telegram chat with all the parties. Uh, we're gonna be throwing a TKO token party there. Yes. Um, a couple <gasps> other things. So we're we're we haven't announced anything from Dubai yet. So I don't want to front run my company, but like we're doing a lot of fucking things in Dubai. Like it's gonna be a big one for us. I know we're doing some token stuff. We're it's known that we're official partners with Credit Combat, by the way, at Decrypt and Rug Radio. So like we're gonna be uh, Thread Guy and I will be covering that. And for what it's worth. I may or may not be doing something with GSP there, so I'm super excited, personally speaking. Uh, yeah, he, so he, GSP is a partner of Creative Combat. So he's the one commentating, commenting Creative Combat. So like, wow. we're going to be distributing the content for Creative Combat on our, on our, across our media. And, and which, by the way, bags, we should talk. We should talk about media distribution bags. <laughs> we should make a deal on the show right now. Come on, baby. Uh, but but um, oh, we'll, we'll talk. We'll talk off, offline. But you know, and uh, and then. And then we're doing that, and then we're doing two events as well, a gallery event, and we're doing other things. So we'd love to have you like present with everything. Actually, bags, you should get involved in the party we want to throw in, in Dubai. We'll talk. We'll talk. Yeah, we'll I'll talk. send you the telegram and everything. Uh, Dees, what are you what are you saying this weekend? What is, what is what is Dees's plans this weekend? Um, we're doing some drywalling at our old house okay. <laughs> on Saturday. Love we're that. doing a little gas fireplace cleaning. Um, <laughs> getting a uh, house ready to rent but other than that i'm gonna probably buy shit coins and lose money based off of what i read on twitter and group chats that's All what right. i like to do every weekend really i was thinking of downloading tiktok so i on my both phones i refuse to have tiktok i Threat guys tapped in i was thinking of downloading tiktok this weekend i'm not even kidding for the first time in my not my life because i used to tiktok but i was thinking of downloading it and, and going and studying um you know studying teenagers studying the content Bags, yeah, was are you uh, a tiktok user is campi media on tiktok campi media is on tiktok we post all of our shorts and stuff but no i don't use it what about your kids like are they like do they like no i don't allow them nice. I love that. chad chad dad parent. study parenting study well, parenting don't need what our, uh, uh, year old boys to just watch half-dressed people dancing on, on the no, man, no, is your baby gonna be watching tiktoks and trading uh, shit coins but, but Bags posted the name of his son's uh, username the other day, which I thought was hilarious. What was it again? <laughs> the fuck? Yeah. The fuck? 
the fuck? <laughs> He's like 10 years old and it's the fuck. Yeah. Is his username. yeah, my wife looks at me and she's like, uh, did you know your son's Discord username is the fuck? And I was like, <laughs> I'm so Could be way this. worse, honestly. That's good. That's yeah. pretty good. <laughs> That's crazy. That's crazy. Oh my God. Dude, our kids are going to be just born DJs, man. It's going to be wild. I mean, I could already picture Mando's kid, like three years old, just putting some leverage on Solana, like Max, and oh, just going God. crazy. Like, does, uh, does Lil Bags have like Phantom set up and is he in the I, trenches and shit? Or <laughs> at 10 years old, I feel like he should be in the trenches, right? <laughs> right, right. Yeah, he should wake up every day and start looking at floors. Yeah. The question is how, Get the him question, started young. The question is how many pandas does the fuck hold? Oh, uh, several, several. 100%. How many red guys does Mini Mando hold? Oh. Hundreds, I think. It is. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. And how many punks will many D's hold in the future? Uh, not more than three. Well, that's fine. <laughs> well, three is not bad. I mean, punks are still over a two hundred thousand dollar United States dollar asset here. Anyways, Sims, why don't we get this party started? You have like two seconds right now left to retweet the room and to follow all of us. If you guys want to stay on, we're going to do those robot spins. Uh, let's see who wins. It's going to get silly uh, in a second here. Boom, robot. Let's Silly goose season. Silly goose season. <laughs> Hong Kong. Hong Kong. <laughs> you guys, I'm buying more. You guys are. <laughs> <laughs> I, I hold on. Oh my god. Well, well, well. Uh, well, actually, Sims, I'm gonna let you share, uh, so you can pick the winners here. Sorry. Um, but wh while Sims does that, uh, I'm gonna say. In case of an investigation by any federal entity this or similar, back. it's a I do not have any involvement with this group or with the people in it. I do not know how I'm here. Probably added by a third party. I do not support any members by any actions of this group. Perfect. We're back. It's a bull market. I'm playing this a lot. Um, two winners. FOMO Hour, Robicom, D's, and Ice Bags. Perfect. You have to be a real account. Boom. And the winners. The two let's winners. Go. Are... Lucky. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, Captain Jake. Little, Captain... Little oh, Lil Pudgy. Okay. And Crypto Explained. Burno fade one five zero two two. You have seventy five seconds to get on the Twitter Spaces, and if not, we're gonna reroll. So we're gonna reroll if you're not there. Captain's Jake and Burno Burno fade Burno fade fifteen o twenty two. Come request to speak on the Twitter Spaces. You guys request on Twitter Spaces, nowhere else. If you're on video, I would run. I would run right now to the stream. Uh, before we reroll this, imagine we just missing out on opportunity to get a free couple thousand dollars because you had your your phone on mute at work. Yeah, yeah. one day someone did this, but we sent them five hundred bucks anyways. Um, but <laughs> oh, that's, that's nice. yeah. just a little consolation prize, so they don't listen. It's fun. It's fun. Okay, Captain Jake is here, but Bruno Fade. I'm not seeing. I'm seeing the little pudgy on stage. I'm seeing the little pudgy who may become join the camp by Panas, which, by the way. The first, remember back is the first day of the winner from our first ever roll. Um, That's right. He PFP'd it, Smokey, and stayed in your community forever. Forever. Like, they tend to. Yeah. They, they became a community it's member. It's a and token now. And they're up. Like, they're up like 3, 4K on the thing. All right. Bruno Fade's not here. Oh, oh, on the <laughs> fucking buzzer. They're both here. Wow. Up, he got Jake? saved. Wow. Wow. What's up, Captain Jake? How you doing? Hello. Hello. Hello, hello, Captain Jake. We're gonna go to so we're gonna go to Captain Jake first, and then we're gonna go to Burno Fade in that order. Uh, so you saw the odds. You're seeing the Captain Jake. Are you ready? Is he ready? I'm seeing it. I'm seeing him though. All right, I, he's not. He can't unmute a thing, but he's there. He's there. So here it is. There's he's the box. In the middle of a meeting right now, and he doesn't want to yeah. get fired. But right. if he wins this punk, he's gonna quit the job. Yeah. So you have multiple rugs in there. Um, you have a bunch of red guys. You have. A bunch of pandas and then you have two penguins three squiggles and a punk all right all right all right it's time to spin it's time to spin captain's jake let's see what's good content change content change let's see and you oh, yo oh, you go wait what is what it what just it? happened Called it. You, win a, you win a rug. You got rug. There you go. You got rug. You, got you win rug. a rug radio NFT worth eight hundred dollars. Got rug. You know what's funny is like the lowest item I always put in there is a rug radio NFT. So it's always like a bummer, but things in my own shit. And I'm like, fuck. But it's like, yeah, you want a rug radio <laughs> NFT, fam. $100 is pretty nice. Well, for what it's yeah. worth, they're also loaded with rug token. Um, and uh, all, most of them, you can go on claim.rug.fm, check it out. And, you know, 
it's not like we're not cooking. So <laughs> it's, it's gonna be a good one. It's gonna be a good one. Anyways, Hi guys, I'm a, I love to speak. Yo, Hello. crypto, explain. You here? Okay, are you? He's, can you, he's can you hear me? Yeah, bro. Hi. Hey, so are you ready? It's your turn to spin. Yeah, bro. I'm so fucking hyped, man. Come on. <laughs> all right, all right. Do you want to win a oh, punk, punk today? Punk. All right, right, let's see, let's see, let's spin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It up. And you win a... Oh! There we go. There we go. Nice, nice, nice. You're a red guy. Nice, Valued nice, at 3,200 nice. United States dollars. And congratulations. Thank you, That's guys. One, Thank too. you very much. Thank you very Congrats, much. Congrats, King. You, much. you just made My 3K. Heart, guys. My heart. Dude, you just made three thousand dollars this morning for just listening on the show. Congrats! Do whatever you want with it, Captain J. You made a thousand dollars. We're gonna reach out to the both of you. Be careful, you know, scams and everything. We'll take care of it. We know uh, who to give what to. Uh, so two more winners. A great show. A great Friday. We had an all-time high this morning for Bitcoin to start short seventy thousand dollars. Currently sitting at sixty-seven point three. Meme coin weekend. Let's see. But I, I can sense the Shabbat candles on the way. You know I love those on the fucking show. Mando, I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Bags, these. thank you so much for, for coming in here. Uh, we had to bring some heavy reinforcements on the show today and some great takes on all things Campi, all things Ordinals, NFTs, crypto. I mean, follow Bags, follow these. The lads are cooking. Love what you guys got coming on. Bags, we need to talk. Mando, hope you have a great weekend. And with that, with that, with that, we'll see you on Monday. Let's go.